Queen, guess what? What, Caden? Do you know what we're going to learn about today? No clue what. First, let me write it down. Do you have a pen, Quinn? Penguin? No, a pen, Quinn. Why would I have a penguin? No, I want a pen, Quinn. Oh, you want a penguin as a pet? Oh, you want to learn about penguins. Do you want to learn about penguins? Yeah. Let's learn about penguins. Did you ask for this? Oh, brother. Penguins can be very playful. Did you know that penguins like to go tobogganing? They will also lay on their tummy and slide through the ice and snow like they are sleigh riding. Penguins will also jump off small cliffs into the water, get out of the water, and dive over and over again for fun. Penguins have black and white feathers that make excellent camouflage. Their white bellies blend with the snow and sunlight, making it difficult for an underwater predator to see them. They also have a special layer of feathers which helps keep them warm. Penguins spend half their lives on land and the other half in the water. Their wings have changed over time to act like flippers, which makes them great swimmers. Penguins are birds, but unlike most birds, penguins are not able to fly. When they are in the water, they dive and flap their wings. It kind of looks like they are flying. Penguins spend about 75% of their time underwater searching for food in the ocean. Penguins are shaped like a torpedo. Their bodies are built to be efficient swimmers. Their average speed swimming underwater is about 15 miles per hour. The only time you will see penguins airborne is when they jump out of the water and penguins do this to get a gulp of fresh air before diving back down for more fish. Penguins cannot breathe underwater, but they can hold their breath for a long time. They will also leap out of the water to get from the ocean onto land, and if there are cliffs or ice flows in the way. Penguins are known for waddling when they walk. They sometimes also slide on their bellies across the snow, and this helps them move while saving their energy. Ever wonder where penguins live? Penguins live mostly in Antarctica, South America, South Africa, New Zealand, and the Galapagos Islands. These are all the locations in the Southern Hemisphere. There is one special group of penguins, the Galapagos penguin. They live in a different part of the world, but this is not very common. When we think about penguins, many people think they all live in freezing cold climates like Antarctica. And while some species do live there, most live in warmer areas. But no matter where they live, they'll always be near the ocean. Hey, guess what? Did you know that penguins are carnivores? That means they eat meat. Penguins catch their food in the water. And they catch their food using their beaks and they swallow it whole. Most penguins like to eat krill, which is kind of like shrimp. Also fish, squid, and other types of sea life that they can catch while they swim and hunt. Want to learn how baby penguins are born? When penguins find mates, they stay with that mate for a very long time. Female penguins lay one to two eggs on the shore, but usually only one will hatch. When she lays the egg, she then goes out to find something to eat and leaves the male to watch the nest with the eggs. The female will then return about two weeks later. Then the male heads out for food, leaving the female with the eggs. It takes about 35 days for a penguin egg to hatch. A baby penguin is called a chick. When the chick hatches, it immediately starts calling so that its parents learn to recognize its voice. Once the chick is strong enough, its parents head for the ocean at the same time to find food. The chicks are left in a group together, almost like a daycare. And when the penguin parents return with dinner, they listen for their chick by its voice. The chick then eats regurgitated food from their mother. Regurgitated food is food that comes out of the mother's stomach that she's already eaten. Man, I really wish I didn't just learn that. Chicks leave their nests when they are about one month old. I want to leave now! Penguins are social animals. That means they live with other penguins. 
Hey, you want to know if penguins have predators? They actually do. Penguins have a few predators. They are sharks, orcas, and leopard seals. Humans used to hunt penguins for their oil and eggs, but now penguins are a protected species. It is now illegal to hunt penguins. Penguins are also eaten by a number of birds. For example, the Australian sea eagle and the skua. Luckily, penguins have their black backs which blend against the dark ocean water. This makes it difficult to spot them from flying above. And on land, penguins have a number of predators too, like ferrets, cats, snakes, lizard, foxes, and rats. Leopard seals are usually the biggest threat in Antarctica. Want to learn how penguins protect themselves? One of the best ways that penguins protect themselves is by living in large groups. A lot of predators will not attack when there are a lot of penguins around. This large group also helps because there are so many penguins keeping a lookout. The other way penguins protect themselves is by a special camouflage on their feathers like we mentioned earlier. This camouflaging is called countershading. Penguins have black feathers on their backs and white on their fronts. When a predator is hunting from underwater, like an orca or a leopard seal, they will have a hard time seeing the penguin because of the bright water surface. Whether you are familiar with penguins from nature shows or some happy feet tap dancing movies, this is how penguins were named. The name penguin was originally given to a different type of bird species, the now extinct great auk, which was a large, flightless black and white bird. And when explorers first discovered wild penguins, they used the same name for the new creatures they were seeing. Lots of people think penguins are mammals rather than birds because they cannot fly. But there are other birds that can't fly either, like emus, ostriches, and cassowaries. Penguins also have all the requirements to be classified as birds. They have feathers, they lay eggs, and they are warm-blooded. Penguins can dive to depths of over 250 meters, but most of the time they will be within the top 30 feet or 10 meters of water. The deepest dive ever recorded was by a female emperor penguin that dived 535 meters below the surface. Penguins then go through a process called catastrophic molting. This is when they replace all of their feathers in the space of a few weeks. During this time, they cannot enter the water, so they need to have added enough fat to not eat anything through this entire period. Most birds replace their feathers gradually over the course of the year, while penguins have to go through this process all at once. Penguin feathers are shorter and stiffer than most bird feathers, which makes penguins more streamlined in the water and traps more air to provide better insulation and keep them warm. Did you know that there are 18 species of penguins? Here is a list of some different types of penguin species. Adeli penguins, African penguins, chinstrap penguins, emperor penguins, Galapagos penguins, gentoo penguins, penguins, king penguins, macaroni penguins, Magellanic penguins, rockhopper penguins, and yellow-eyed penguins. Check out the list in the description below. Emperor penguins are the largest of all different kinds of penguins. They measure about three to four feet tall, about the height of an average six-year-old. That is tall. The emperor penguin is the only species that spends the harsh Antarctic winter on land. The males will protect the eggs from the cold ice by keeping them on their feet. The females are out hunting for food most of the time. Emperor penguins are able to deal with this cold because they have the highest density of feathers of any other bird species. They have 100 feathers per square inch. Did you know the fastest species of penguins is the gentoo penguin? They can swim at up to 22 miles per hour. What? Did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button.